Hello, welcome to Mr. Rule Science Classroom. This is a demonstration in solids, liquids, and gases, specifically gases. It's a demonstration in air, pressure, air which is a gas. There is gas that remains above the water filling the space or volume between this red line where the water stops and here where the cap is sealed on the top. This is filled with air which is a gas. Gases are compressible, um, more so than liquids and much more so than solids. What I'm going to do next is to tighten this vise and what's going to happen is the bottle will deform but also it will, its volume will shrink, the water will creep up past the line and it will compress the gas towards the top. See the water level rise past the red line. The shape of the bottle is changing underneath, but while the shape remains the same at the top, it becomes pretty obvious that there is the space that the air had occupied, which is a gas, is being taken up by the water. Now that can only mean that either the gas is mixing with the water, which it is not, or that the gas is being compressed into a smaller space. Its volume is decreasing. That gas is occupying a much smaller space and uh, without increasing or decreasing the temperature that can only mean that there must be an increase in pressure. To check for that I'm going to try to uh, take this cap off. I'm going to try to do it very quickly for a sudden release of pressure. Here we go. the gas pressure demo showing that a decrease in volume causes an increase in pressure. This time I want you to ask yourself what causes all that liquid water to be ejected from the bottle in the process. Think about that as you're watching it a second time. Here we go.